Welcome to my Alaska. Today we're gonna do some cleanup, so let's just jump right into it. I've had this stuff down here for a couple years now and I got some stuff over there by that tree. It's time to get it out of here and these broken bins are getting thrown away. The other ones are gonna get emptied and stored away. So let's do this. A couple few years ago, I tried growing potatoes in these bins. It didn't work out very well. Yeah, I got some potatoes, but nothing even close to what I was expecting. So I'm just gonna dump the dirt out over here by the pipes and just let whatever grows grow. Now that's done, I can turn my attention to here. The old paint is gonna get disposed of properly. These stakes, the pallet, and this stuff, I'm probably not gonna do the tires right now, but eventually they're gonna go over between the connexes. The stakes and the pallet can go over right now, so let's get those taken over. As you can see, I got my chainsaw out and I just have the worst luck with chainsaws. 
they either won't start, they won't idle. I changed like the fuel filters, air filters, stuff like that. It doesn't work. Just, it seems like there's always something wrong with all my chainsaws. There's always a problem with them. I don't know what it is. I don't beat them or anything like that. I just have the worst luck with them. I'm gonna try to get that chainsaw running today. It was running a little bit ago, now it won't start, so I'm gonna leave it sit for a few minutes and try it again. In the meantime, let's get this stuff unloaded. I had plans on doing some cleanup along the driveway with the chainsaw and the excavator, but I don't know, the chainsaw is not running right. But let's give it a shot and see what happens. Of course, it starts right up. Well, let's go down the driveway and set the saw down. Then I'll come back and get the excavator. The game plan is to bring the excavator down the driveway and pull out these trees that are all laying down. There's probably a dozen or a couple dozen of them laying down along the driveway. Pull them out and then pull them up to this area and then with the chainsaw, cut them up and put the, like the root ball and the limbs and stuff right here in a big pile and later this summer, gonna light it on fire. But that's gonna wait for a while. I'm going to drop the saw off right here and then before I head back up, grab the last few little things that are laying down in this area and get it all cleaned up. There's not much down here. I got a few copper pipes right here. I guess four of them. We'll throw them back here. And then a couple things over here. I got this old wood stove. I got a really good deal on it. That's why I bought it, but I don't know if I'll ever use it. While we're down here, I want to show you one of my favorite trees here in Alaska. It is this paper birch. This is so cool. Look at it. What happens is every year, this paper birch creates a new uh, bark layer, a new skin on itself. And the old one just kind of rolls up as it peels off. Most birch, like this one might get a little bit, but most of it just flakes off. And also like this one, you can see it, it just kind of flakes off. But the paper birch comes off in big sheets. And this is excellent fire starter. I just think these trees look so cool. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments.
I really hate just moving stuff from one place to another. And I definitely don't like this being the catch-all for everything. But I don't have any other place to put it, so that's where it's going. This is actually a piece off my Polaris snow machine. It's the back bumper. I switched it out for a lot better one. Time to fire up the beast and get this driveway cleaned up.
Unfortunately, my saw just won't idle correctly. So I hurried up and I cut up these two trees. They're in pieces. Those ones I'm just gonna throw on the pile. They're just cottonwoods, they're junk logs anyway. So they're just getting thrown on the pile and gonna get burnt later. I wish my chainsaw would just run correctly for a summer. I can't tell you the last time I've made it through a summer with a running chainsaw. It's been years, like six or eight years. One of the summers I was still building my remote cabin. Let me get this stuff cleaned up and a few more logs brought over and I'll catch back up with you guys. I said I'd bring you guys back and I did. Check out this pile I got. This is all from along the driveway. This is gonna make a good bonfire later this summer. Let's take a walk down the driveway and I'll show you how much I got done. Well, first off, there's a huge pile of brush right through here. I still got a lot of cleanup to do, but I got the majority of it. There are a couple small stumps in here. There are a lot of logs and trees down in this area. I still have a lot of cleanup to do. Things fall off the bucket and stuff, but it happens. But just look at how much cleaner this is. I still have all this small stuff to get, but I'll get it. I wasn't thinking, I guess I should have done this uh, beforehand so I can show you the before and after, but I totally forgot. But this is a lot better in through here. I didn't pull out these logs. They're still good logs. They're good birch logs. I need to get them out though. But this was a big pile of just old debris and stuff. Unfortunately, I hit this tree right there. I didn't want to, but it happened. I'm glad I didn't hit that, my meter there. I was pretty careful. I still have a lot of stuff down there to dig out. I'm definitely pleased at what it looks like now. A lot better. It's the next day. Let's clean up along the driveway.
First step, pick up these good logs and take them up to my log pile. Crap, that one rode way too far. to come down and get my trash can yesterday so let's do that right now. I 
I knew that was gonna happen. There, that'll stay. That piece was in there, wow. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. The next several videos are gonna be building videos. Got a lot of building to do this summer, so I'm gonna get after it. Thanks everyone, and if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. Thanks, have a great day.